Hello and welcome to another video from Canadian Guns and Gear. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a discussion here on uh, meal ready to eat, aka a ration, aka MRE, XMRE, I'm sure uh, many of you have heard the different names for them. Now what this is, is it's basically uh, items that are ready to eat out of the bag kind of put all together in a form that you can kind of throw in a backpack or throw in your vehicle or keep at work for things such as an emergency where, you know, you can't, uh, can't you know, run down uh, and grab a meal at, say, McDonald's. Uh, or if you get stuck at work, it gives you a meal at work. Or you could even use it for something, uh, whether you're out hiking or camping or something along those, uh, those lines. So the whole premise was uh, to try to create something that imitates the XMREs or military rations or IMPs or whatever you've seen uh, the off-the-shelf version of this. Now the idea was to kind of do it uh, myself that way I could make something that was a little more, bit more affordable uh, and I can kind of customize and put into it what I would like. So I had a couple uh, criteria to uh, set out here before I started. So the first one was, of course, being an MRE, it has to be ready to eat. Now what I mean by that, uh, I've seen some videos and people creating uh, kind of food packages with items that do require some sort of preparation. Whether it be ramen noodles that have to be boiled or different food items that have to be uh, kind of cooked before you can actually eat them or heat it up or whatever prepared in some way. Now, while there's nothing wrong with having those kind of items, my whole purpose was to indeed kind of actually have an item that was ready to eat right out of the bag. Now, a lot of these items that I put in here would still benefit from being heated up, but they are certainly ready to eat right out of the bag, and they probably would still taste all right. So keeping that in mind, uh, the next thing I tried to do was uh, choose items that had at least one year best buy or expiration date from the day I purchased them. Now, for the most part, I hit uh, that point on all of the items in, included in the MRE. Uh, I think there was one or two items that may have been uh, a little less than a year. However, they should still last longer uh, than their actual best before date. Um, and then of course, anything that was at least a year should also last longer than one year. But the whole idea was to try to keep uh, items that have a long shelf life or a long best buy date. That way after one year I can rotate it out and it's not totally wasted. Now the other thing I tried to do uh, was to include at least 1000 calories in each MRE. Now the average adult is going to require more than 1000 calories per day but I was trying to pack in as many calories as possible into one. That way, you know, you could potentially suffice with one of these for a day. Now, it's not ideal. However, it, it may get you through, say, an emergency situation uh, where this is all that you have. I also tried to contain uh, a breakfast and a lunch slash dinner kind of menu or items. And I'll show you that once we break into it here. And of course, I tried to include uh, items high in protein. And then also I tried to do it uh, relatively cheap because the whole idea here is to create something yourself where you're going to save money and do it cheaper than it would be to buy, say, a uh, box of MREs that are ready to go. So it's a little bit more work, but uh, hopefully the, the savings will kind of pay off in that sense. So this is what I came up with. And the big thing here that I did was, uh, as you can see, it's in a vacuum seal bag. This one I actually kind of let go uh, for some reason. There must have been a little bit of a leak in it. That's why I'm kind of demonstrating this one here. But I did vacuum seal them all uh, to try to preserve them even longer than that year shelf life. Uh, labeling of these is important as well. So right here I put a P and then 15 November 2019. So that is for when it was packed. So it was packed on November 15, 2019. I also put a one year expiration, so I put that it will expire in November 2020. Now again, it should still, the items in it should still be good uh, after that, however, the idea is that after one year of having this, if it hasn't been used, to break into it and use the items up and create a new one. And of course, I labeled how many calories roughly is included in this, so about a thousand calories. So, as you can see here, I put these little uh, cuts right kind of on the other side of where it was vacuum sealed that way it's easier to kind of rip into so as you can see just pulling on that allows you to easily rip into it 
So we'll get this out of the way here. And we'll go ahead and dump out the items that we have. So first thing you'll notice is our breakfast menu. So we have some salted crackers and peanut butter. And we also have a Nature Valley crunch bar kind of as a snack. So those three items there along with uh, I vacuum sealed up some uh, Tim's uh, coffee, five grams. Again, put the date on it. Some coffee creamer to go with that. Would be kind of your breakfast. Now, it's not ideal, but again, it'll keep you going. It'll put something in your stomach. Or if you are not using it as a breakfast, you can use those as a snack kind of as you go. Next, I threw some applesauce which actually has a pretty decent uh, life uh, shelf life there. It's best before it says 2021 March, and this was packed in November 2019. So that's uh, basically uh, about a year and a half uh, best before date. A couple more items to add some more calories. Uh, we have a granola bar, just a generic uh, kind of chocolate uh, granola bar for some sugar. Uh, fruit to go, again, some more sugar calories. Some raisins to snack on. Now, this here is a knife, spoon, knife, fork, and spoon, a KFS with uh, a napkin. I believe there's a salt and pepper in, in there and uh, a wet nap. And this will be kind of the main meal here. So we've got a white rice. Now this uh, rice per package, it has 220 calories right there. And then to go with that is a can of flakes of ham. Now what I did was uh, with some of the different ones here, some of them have flakes of chicken in them. So this is one that is still vacuum sealed. Uh, but this one is flakes of ham. So there, there is some variety between them. Uh, and the calories in this, this is per one third of the can. Uh, it has 90 calories. So 90 times three would be how many calories in total. So the idea is you would uh, rip this open and this rice is already pre-cooked. It's, uh, it's not something you have to add water to. Now it says you have to microwave it to uh, heat it up, but you would certainly, you can kind of see it's, there's, it's not uncooked rice. It's basically already cooked rice. So the idea is you would, oh, and this is another point here. I wanted to make sure the items in it can all be open without any tools. So it's got the pop top here. So you basically pop the top off, open up your rice, throw in your ham, mix it all up and eat it like that. And then again, you have your KFS and all that. So that's what would be in that. Now, it's not, uh, you know, gonna be the best gourmet tasting meal in the world. However, it is certainly edible. It probably tastes all right. Um, you can add some of the salt and pepper from your packet there and it would make it uh, not too bad, especially for something like if you're out hiking, burning a lot of calories, it's probably gonna taste, uh, taste all right for that. So that's what I've got for my MRE. This is gonna be essentially version one here. So I'm gonna try these out at some point and try to use them up before, uh, before that one year date so they don't go to waste. And we'll see how it goes with them. Uh, I'll probably try posting a video uh, of an update to see how it tasted and how it went. But that's just kind of an idea there right now for an MRE or meal ready to eat. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.